It is the world's first commercial tidal turbine. It'll produce the first electricity ever brought ashore from British tidal waters. The 300-ton turbine put in place in Northern Ireland's Strangford Lock will generate energy sustainably with no noise and zero emissions. The turbine will be fixed to the seabed in the mouth of the lock, one of the fastest tidal flows on Earth, where it's expected to generate enough electricity to power a 1,000 homes. Our science correspondent Julian Rush reports. Dawn this morning and slung on the front of a giant Dutch crane barge, the world's first commercial scale tidal power machine is manoeuvred gently to within centimetres of the spot where it will be lowered to the seabed. If its developers can prove it works, they have big plans for tidal stream power stations strung across Britain's tidal hotspots. Their technology, they say, clean, green, unobtrusive and unlikely to harm marine life able to play a major role in meeting Britain's share of the European target of 20% of all energy from renewables by 2020. Now you watch, when this goes in, this whole operation will be completed, placing this machine in about 24 hours, right? So just keep repeating that. We should be able to churn these out like smarties. His enthusiasm seems justified. After all, Britain is best placed in Europe to exploit tidal power, with half the continent's tidal reserve. The strongest tides in yellow, enough to supply 5% of Britain's energy needs. Two tidal power stations are already planned, one off Anglesey and another off St David's Head. The Sustainable Development Commission has encouraged government to stay the course on this one. Uh, yes, we have a number of highly competitive devices today, some of which are ready to go in the water, some of which are just being tested. We can have the technology lead on this and government should be backing innovation and technology on this. At around £10 million to develop, this hasn't been cheap. Most investment has been private and government support largely lukewarm, though ministers have recently proposed doubling the market support mechanism for marine power. Eventually, the team hopes to be competitive with offshore wind power. The great thing about tidal power compared to wind is that it's utterly predictable. The tide rushes up and down here in Stranford Lock twice a day at four to eight knots. And those two turbines there can between them produce 1.2 megawatts of power, enough for the average electricity consumption of a thousand homes. The environmental gain of low carbon electricity though has to be set against the ecological cost if the turbines damage marine life. Strangford Lock is a protected area, famous for its population of common seals. Small animals will, will pass straight through the turbine. Fish will almost certainly pass straight through it. We are a bit concerned about the effect on seals and on, on uh, small cetaceans and on things like basking sharks. They just might get caught up in the turbine. So scientists from Queen's University Belfast, who've been monitoring the lock's marine life for several years, will be checking to see if there are any changes. And if it turns out to mince seals, it'll be stopped. But if it doesn't, and the developer's optimism proves to be justified, then tidal power stations could be supplying some of Britain's carbon-free electricity in five years or so well ahead of any of the new nuclear power stations the government backs so vociferously. Julian Rush, Channel 4 News, Strangford Lock.